Today, guys, we're going to be trying some old-timey American candy. Oh, old-timey candy, see? Are we old-timey? Well, let's try some old-time candy. Back, in the, old, back in the old days, see? Give me the top pack, back in. We are here to try uh, old-timey old, old American, American candy. When you say old-timey... Really lean into the nostalgia. What do you mean? What is old-timey candy? And are we old-timey? We are old-timers now, I'm, Jamie. I'm 31 now, Sean. I'm 30, Jamie. Are we old-timey? Well, I hear American candy isn't as nice. That's true. Maybe, does old-timey mean this is just stale? Possibly. It's like, this is from the yeah. 80s and they found it. Yeah. Oh. oh, here we go. Crunchy. Peanut butter bars. Peanut butter bars. Peanut butter bars. Oh god, I feel like this is going to be hell on the teeth. This is exactly how I expect them to look. Yeah. There's just something about black stripes that's very old fashioned. I mean, look, it's not a surprise that we're dealing with old American sweets and peanut butter is front and center. Yes. I, I feel like that's all they had for the first 200 years of their lives. My teeth are at me at the moment, so it's... I might not eat the whole thing. Just like suck away and then see if you can get some sort of flavor, you know? Okay. It smells very peanut butter. Were you able to break it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, you are. Sorry, you are. This bar is from 1947. Ooh. This bar is this from bar, 1947. Like this actual one? This, did that one? It's good long shelf life. Fucking hell. Tell you. I'll chew it up for you and then, oh. <laughs> never mind. I thought this was a pattern on the sweet, but no, yeah. it's in the... It smells very peanutty. Oh, I was expecting that to be solid. So was I. Oh, what the fuck? I see crunchy. You're going to be able to chew this, no bother. It's very crumbly. Oh, so brittle. Not at all what I expected. Brittle is exactly the word. That's gorgeous. Mmm. Oh, it's lovely. Mmm. That's lovely. It's like peanut brittle. Whatever shell is on the outside of them is so, so sweet. This is kind of the kind of sweet that I like. I'm still getting in every free space in my teeth. Like there's an actual genuine peanut butter flavor mm. and it doesn't just taste like. And it's like peanut buttery, but also sweet. Yeah. I don't need to go to the dentist now. Mm. You know, my fillings are already done with this. I just yeah. leave this sweet yeah. mm. I actually like them. They are nice. They are nice. Why did you spit it out then? Because they are ridiculously sweet. But sometimes like a Reese's peanut butter cup is grand. But you have one of them and you're like, I, I don't really want to eat the other three in the packet. And then you do and then you feel like shit. The texture was enjoyable. You know, I thought we were sucking for ages there, Sean. I mean, yeah. you know, we only have to suck for like five seconds. That's when you know you got a good suck, yeah. when the suck lasts less long than you think. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mary oh, Chewy! Mary Jane. Jesus, Mary Jane. How are you doing? How are you, Mary Jane? <laughs> they already kind of look like the end of a... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, does it do exactly what it says in the tin? Possibly. Is this just pure cannabis, Colin? Ah, oh, where's Spider-Man? What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, we're on a roll here. This is molasses and peanut butter. The Charles Miller Company first produced Mary Jane in 1914. Have you guys had Mary Jane before? <laughs> well, no, I didn't know we were. Oh, I didn't watch geez. this try show here. I'm no Peter Parker, but uh, <laughs> I've had a Mary Jane or two in my time. Is that from like a sugar cane or something yeah, like that? Yeah, from cane sugar. So the more molasses left in, the darker the sugar. So How do like you when know you, all these things? I don't know. I watch a lot of internet stuff. Miller named the molasses and peanut butter candy for his favorite aunt, Mary Jane. Okay. That's an interesting. That's an in. Not, not what I would have chosen. No. I still don't know what it is. I'm, we're going around in circles here. Will we try it? Yes. It smells lovely. It smells though. toffee. Oh my god, they're so chewy, I love it. Oh, it's very chewy. That's lovely. I'm gonna try to keep it out of my teeth. I feel like the molasses kind of cancels out the peanut butter. It would double up, I'm sure, as like a multi-purpose item in the house if you were in a pinch. Mm, mm, mm. You needed to like prop up a shaky table. No, it smells like peanut butter, mm. but I don't taste the peanut butter. But I do, small bit. It's coming more now. It touched my tooth for like a second, and it was like, you know when Venom is on Spider-Man, and it goes, yeah. like that. So can you taste the molasses? Uh, I think well, molasses can. just taste dark and sweet. I've had better experiences with Mary Jane. Right. But I, look. This is my first experience with Mary Jane. Right, okay. Yeah. It has like a smoky, old-timey taste. It's like a nice old leather. You definitely are giving us candy that seems like it would be something that a grandparent would have. It was a very accurately named video. Mm. I'd like to know why he named it after the ant. Mm. Imagine he had multiple ants and the rest of them were just like real pissed. It's like, why does that bitch get a yeah. candy named after her? It what? It was probably the rich aunt. Oh, Mary Jane? Yeah, Mary oh, Jane. Oh. <laughs> I feel like there's a theme here. There's All the packets have been different but the same. Yeah. Oh, this is a real yeah. tree, Sean, today. Yeah. 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 This is the Chico stick. Another hard shwage. Rolled in toasted coconut. I've never had anything like this before. Like, I don't mind it desiccated. Okay. 
like sprinkle. Right. And I don't mind a milk. Okay. But I wouldn't be eating a coconut. I don't mind them. Okay. You know, they're good for playing the drums. You can also yeah. you can also eat them or use them as a brass. So um they have multiple multifunctional. Yeah, are you just gonna go straight in? Straight in. It smells coconutty. Oh wow. Oh. Do I hate it? Do I like it? That's alright. This one and the peanut butter bar come apart fairly easily. They're oh. quite brittle. I, I chew it once, I'm like, ugh. And I chew it again and I'm like, oh. There's a real sugariness to mm. it though compared to the last one. Now, taste wise, it's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. I really like coconut flavor. That's really It's not too coconutty. That's what I like. I like coconut when it's not overpowering. I think it's just so different to any sweets that I've tried. It's so I didn't know so what to make. It's so unusual. Yeah. But it's really tasty. Second best. What was your favorite one, the first one? The first one, yeah. Fan of a chicka stick, I must say. I am. I like all these peanut butter candies. They're weird, I'll give them that. Mm. The name is kind of turning me off a small bit. Yeah. It's like chickatee. I, I was thinking chicken teeth. Chico Sticks original wrapper design featured a stylized cartoon of a chicken wearing a cowboy hat. It contributed to confusion over whether the Chico Stick was candy or a chicken flavored <laughs> cracker. Oh, it's a chicken cracker! <laughs> ah! Runs out of the shop. Rose, it is a chicken. I it's couldn't. A logo. There's no way for me to know. <laughs> That's old-fashioned fashioned root beer. And, it and it's shaped like a root beer barrel. Old-fashioned root beer. From oh, my dad. I've never had root beer, have you? Nor have I. Okay. I don't, I don't drink, uh, don't drink the soft drinks. We're probably the worst ones to try. To Possibly, yeah. I and don't like root beer. What does it taste like beer? again? It's just, it's very kind of like medicine-y. You're like dad's old-fashioned root beer boy. Root beer always sounds fucking amazing in the film stuff. They go down and it looks yeah. amazing and you're oh. Um, I've had old fashions. Will this taste like an old-fashioned? Is there whiskey, bitter, and sugars in this? I don't know. I'm not a big fan of root beer. Let's see what this is like. It tastes like a cough drop. It tastes like medicine. I feel yeah. like a lot oh, of people yeah. are going to hate this. Mm -hmm. I like it. This is like disinfectant. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it, it feels medicinal. I know I wasn't expecting it to taste in any way, but that's exactly how I expected it to taste. But it does taste like medicine. And this, this, is, is, this is what I remember root beer tasting like. This is bang on the like old boiled sweets energy. Uh, the most I would ever describe this as is kind of minty. Like clovey almost. Clovey. It's almost clinical. I think we'll be here a while if it's we have to... It's tasting kind of licorice -y now. I like licorice. I love licorice. It tastes like stuff you'd only use for mouthwash or stuff you'd rub on you to relieve sore muscles. But there's something enjoyable about it. Yeah, yeah. On initial thought, I'm like, no. Mm -hmm. But the more I work it, I'm kind of like, give me another one. Yeah. So okay. is this what root beer tastes like? Kind of, yeah. Mm, yeah. So Jamie, this is made with the root from the sassafras tree. Mmm. There you go. I was out cutting mine. This oh yeah, your yeah. sassafras. Quite good, surprisingly good. Because I'm is... not a big fan of root beer. Yeah, I think this is like my favorite one. But I just, I'm never going to finish it. No, never. You could save it for later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love these. I love these kind of stuff. Oh, a little peanut. Right, what have we? Circus peanuts. You know when they have like the hard marshmallow teeth? Yeah, that's what this feels like, the hard marshmallow tea. Marshmallow circus peanuts were invented in the 1800s and were made in several shapes and flavors. In orange in color, banana in flavor, and peanut in shape. Figure that out, says the packet. I was getting excited because I thought it was going to be peanut butter flavor again. Mm. But like, yeah. how, how did they fuck it's, that one up? It's the mixed messaging for me. Yeah. I mean, I think I'm going to enjoy this. I don't really like orange flavored sweets as much. This smells like rubber. Like it genuinely does. It kind of tastes like it too. This tastes like bubble gum. It tastes like that old kind of cheap bubble gum. You get like bubble gum balls. Juicy fruit! We have these over here, but they're not peanut or orange. They're banana shaped. As, as someone who's not a marshmallow aficionado. Mm. It's actually not bad. No, it's fine. Yeah. It starts off a little bit chewy and then all of a sudden it starts to dissolve. It's like, is this candy it kind of melts. Do you ever go to one of those like old machines where you put a coin in like a yes. big ball? Yes, oh my God, yes. And, and, and it's like I, fluffy on the inside. A gumball. French, the French gumball machines where you yeah. sometimes get like a key ring or a cool necklace. Yeah. And then you'd also yeah. get some chewing gum. Yeah, that's 100%. what it tastes like. Mm. I'd eat a big head of that. A baby's head of that. Yeah. Wow. Eat, like, just a fucking... I don't like it as much as the others. That's, mm. what I, that's what I would say. I'm also not a huge artificial banana flavor. No. It was invented in the 1800s. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 that's the oldest one yet. There's a reason. They're just reliable. Yes. Yeah. That's why they're still around, yeah. you know? Mm. Really interesting, really cool to try something that old. Like, at the same time... How did this keep from the 1800s? <laughs> well, boy golly, that sure was a, a ripper of attraction. It was, it was indeed. Very sugary. Very sugary. Yeah. I did actually, surprisingly, 
the root beer hard sweet. Actually, they were really good too. A lot of these slapped. These were really good. Yeah. I do slap a little bit of stuff here and there in my mouth. That's yes. the only thing about those old timey candies. They do get like lodged in and around, but not as bad as I would have thought. That's for later though, you say. Yeah. That, you know, that's a little bonus at around, you know, 8 p.m. tonight. Which is my dinner. Yeah. Thank you for watching today's video where we try all kinds of old timey American sweets. If you enjoyed it, you know, like the video. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you have opinions, share them in the comments. And uh, oh, check out the Patreon, maybe. I don't know. Very good at that.